it's Shayla here and I know it's a whole new year and everybody's trying to get back into working out myself included so I wanted to tell you guys about my Peloton tread that I've had for going on two years now and just let you guys know some facts about it if you should get one if you shouldn't get one my pros and cons and just go ahead and help you on your fitness journey so let's get started Right, so I got my notes with me and I'm just going to start off by first giving you like some straight facts real quick and then we're going to do like a whole tour. Hold on, don't watch my password. Kidding. We're going to start by doing a whole tour on the Peloton and I can just tell you more about it that way. But let's just first start off with the simple stuff. Um, when it came to delivery, uh, delivery was very quick. I got mine, I, I purchased mine on 12-14-21. And then it literally, uh, they gave me like um, an email. They said, sign up. What day do you think would be the best day for us to come deliver it? It was about two or three days later. They came. It was two men in a Peloton truck. They literally, it's broken down into like um, just a couple pieces. So they had the top portion, the monitor. You can, I think, screw this off somehow. Um, they had this portion and then the bottom. And I think it took them about... 15 20 minutes to put it together it was very quick it was very seamless i give them an a plus on that um when it comes to the sizing of the treadmill so i'm in a very cozy place is what i like to call it so it is um it's it's pretty tight in the place that i live in um i do have an uh upper level but i have mine down on the lower level um and it's in like a very compact space right so it's about what is the sizing on this so when it comes to the actual measurements of this, you know, it's 68 inches in length, 33 in width, and then 62 inches in height. I am about, you know, I like to say I'm 5'6", but you know, you could call me 5'5 five five if you wanted to. So this is probably like, this is where it's going with height, right? My full body, this is how it is, and this is not on an incline at all. So that's pretty much it. I'll show you my height again when I actually get on it so you can get more of a visual. Um, so yeah, when it comes to sizing, the re that's the reason why I bought this. One of the main reasons, because it's very compact um, for a treadmill for one of the ones out there. Of course, the speed goes from 0 to 12. The incline goes from 0 to 12.5% um, as well. Sound quality on this is pretty low. I know I'm just running through this, but I just want to give you guys the main facts. Um, sound quality on this is, um, why did I say low? Sound quality on this is superb. It comes out incredibly, incredibly loud. Um, one of the main reasons why I like using this, but then also when it comes to the sound quality of the machine, you can't really hear it as loud as you would some other treadmills that I've used and I've tried out before, so I really like that. I normally wear headphones when I do my treadmill runs um, because I like to listen to other music as well. So I normally like to use headphones as well when I'm on my treadmill and once I turn on, I have Bose, I turn on the, what is it, the, um, the sound cancellation, the noise cancellation. Yeah, I can't hear the bottom of the treadmill or anything, so I really like that. When it comes to spacing, if you don't really know if it's going to look right in your space, they have the AR feature, which is the augmented reality, where you can actually place the treadmill in an area of your home. I suggest that you do that. That's something that I did to see, okay, where can I really have this? Because you also want to have it in a space where it's not restricted. For example, there's nothing behind my treadmill so that if I were to fall back, I'm not falling on the floor. And this is also not close to the wall. It looks like it's close to the wall, but it's not really too close. Next, let's go to the pricing. So when it came to the pricing of this, I bought mine in 2021, which was when the pandemic was still going on. And there was a lot of things going on. I will say they have done a price increase since then. So when I bought mine in 2021, it was around, including taxes and fees, $2,900, right? And so they have since increased that to $3,495 when I went on their website. That's a pretty big increase in my opinion. But I think another reason for the increase is I have the Peloton Tread. They also had the Peloton Tread Plus, I believe is what it was called. Um, let me double check. I used to have the Peloton Tread Plus, which initially is something that I wanted to get because the panels on the bottom were kind of to, were made kind of like a track in a sense. And the Peloton Tread Plus is bigger. They had some safety issues with that. I believe they did some recalls and they are going to be reissuing that. So that's another factor too. If you don't want a compact one, if you want one that's a little bit bigger with the bigger screen, I think that this screen, this is a 23 inch screen. It'll probably come with a 28 something way bigger, 
but this is good enough for me pricing they are doing like 500 off if you get one of the packages so that can help with it as well but what I will say is that they have financing and I have a couple people in my life who have a tread me and my mom actually have one and we're workout partners but they have financing as well and I don't know if that's weird for you to do but you can finance it and they say you can do it as low as around $70 a month I think that's pretty good you know um, I think it's like what if they have financing with 0% down you know finance it then pay it off if you want to I don't know there's just different ways to make it work um, if that's something that you're interested in doing but you don't want to go ahead and just completely throw down like basically $3,500 and I completely understand that um, when it comes to that pricing I will say on comparisons like let's be real you can get another treadmill way cheaper than that you can get a treadmill for about $1,500 I don't know if that's way cheaper, but yeah, you can get a treadmill for about $1,500. If you want to start getting a nicer treadmill, then you're really still going to be in that $2,500 range, um, which is similar to what I was around when I first got it. Um, but I think due to inflation and all of that kind of stuff, that's how they got into the price increase. With that being said, you're really getting the tread. And I'm going to be honest because I've had it. I love my tread. Would I buy my tread again? Yes. And I'll tell you why I had to help pause for a second. But you have to really look at what you're doing. For me, if I were to come downstairs and see like a big, bulky, old like treadmill, it's not going to motivate me to work out. I'm very much an aesthetics person. I like things to look nice. I like things to be orderly in a sense. Um, and I like sleek designs. This is basically like the Apple product of, even though it's not Apple, obviously it's Peloton. This is the Apple product of your workout machines. It's one of the top classes here. Um, it's one of the top tiers for when it comes to treadmills. So, you know, that's a factor for me. I like the look. I like that it had low sound quality. I like that it had a great screen. I like that it was very techy. You know, I like that I could have a classes. That was very important for me. And I do work out. Um, I would say I have my seasonal workouts, but I'm pretty consistent when it comes to working out. When I would go to the gym, I normally only go to the treadmill and then I like kind of leave. Maybe I'll do the sauna. So it was important for me to just have this so that if, and I don't have a gym membership right now. I actually just use this. I literally roll up out of bed I, in pajamas and then I will jump on this, do my run and then cook breakfast and then I'm gone to work for the day. That's what I do. I like that. It's simple for me to not have to go to the gym, go to the gym at my job, pack clothes, then work out, then feel like I need to take a shower after. Like that just is a little bit too much for me. It's way easier for me to just have this downstairs and to do it and that's why I bought it um, and once again it's because of the design and the quality of this is another reason why I bought it as well and why I would probably buy it again but if I were someone sorry I just got a text message but if I was someone who didn't really know if I wanted to do this if I wanted to take this workout fitness journey if I needed this machine they started to create a lot of these walking pads and I'll post a picture of it right here or wherever. They started to create a lot of these walking pads that I would have gotten had I had the opportunity, but it only became really popular because of the pandemic. So the walking pads, you can just walk on, connect it to your desk, or you can have a little tabletop and work on your laptop. I would have done that because I think that sometimes people just need, sometimes you don't need a big treadmill. Like I'm gonna be honest, sometimes you don't need the big workout material. You really just need to get up and walk. And so you can just get yourself a little walking pad that's like $150, maybe $200 or something, and just walk on that from Amazon. And that will give you the same feeling that you need from a workout versus going and getting a $3,500 machine. So I'm just being honest with that. If it was, you know, if this was still priced as high and I didn't know, I might have just got a walking pad and then got a really, really nice gym membership. You know what I'm saying? It could go both ways. Um... So it really depends on you and how committed you are to your workout journey. I would say if you're not sure, maybe get the walking pad first. And then if you know six months down the line you want this, go ahead and get this. I will also say that these have good value though because if I were to ever resell this, I know that I can get a great chunk of my money back. But I also know that this is a piece that I'm pretty much going to keep with me for a long, long, long time. Probably as long as a mattress. You know what I'm saying? Like I plan to keep this with me for... This home, my next home, whatever home I'm going to go to after that. Um, and it's just, it's great high quality. Then we're going to talk about subscription. 
So when it comes to the subscription service, and this is a con for me, I don't like subscription services. I bought another piece of equipment and I'll do a review on that one as well. I hate subscription services, especially for workout materials. But what they have done is, and I'm very happy, they have a just run feature that most people don't know about. So if I cancel my subscription, and I did it, I was like, I'm gonna cancel my subscription, I was like, I'm gonna cancel my subscription and see what happens. I cancel my subscription and it takes you to the very beginning pages if you were just setting up your treadmill. So you set it up, and then at the very bottom, it'll say something like, uh, try out your tread or something like that. You click that function, and it's going to give you like one screen, and then it's going to have two videos. So they'll let you sample some of the classes, the running classes that you would normally do. And then at the very bottom, there's something that says, just run. And that will pull you up to a black screen. I'm going to show it to you. It'll pull you up to a black screen where you can just run. The kick is... I normally, as crazy as it sounds, I have all these classes and stuff, I use this as a regular treadmill. So they have a couple of functions, and I'm going to show you on the screen, but they have a couple of functions where you're able to just set a goal and run, and your screen is black, and you can calculate stuff, like calculate your distance and things like that, but you're just running with a black screen. And I do that because I'll be like texting or doing like a high run or something like that and I'm just not paying attention to the screen. So that worked for me. You can use this as a regular treadmill and not pay the, what is it, $44 a month? Yeah, you can do that because I think that's a lot a month to pay. I'm mad that I'm already paying for Hulu and stuff a month. I think $44 is a lot. And I know it's crazy because it's like you have a $3,000 machine, but it doesn't matter. I'm just like, that's it's it's not a lot. It's just annoying. I'm going to be real. It's annoying. But it's not annoying anymore now that I know you can just use it as a regular treadmill. So there's that. But here's another kicker. If you do use that function of just run and do not pay for your subscription, then you don't track. It doesn't track any of your workouts. So that's annoying for me. I like to look into an app. I'm very somewhat analytical. So I like to look at the graphs. I like to look at the different things that will tell me, hey, this is the portion of your body that you worked out. This is how much you worked out. That's important to me. So that's why I'm still using a subscription, as crazy as it is. I will also say that you can have multiple members on your profile. So that's pretty cool too. So it doesn't just have to be like your tread. It tracks multiple people. Um, something else to realize is that there is software updates but they're not as annoying as the ones that are on your phone so these updates it'll literally just say like hey you need to do a software update update do 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 it does it real quickly um sometimes you can bypass it don't bypass it i bypass it because i'm like forget it i want to work out but like really just go ahead and do it like you can just walk by touch it do your upgrade and then go walk and do something else like i'd be bypassing it and it don't even make no sense so don't don't be me don't be me um with that, something else, a feature that is a con. I know I have these mixed up and I should have did like all pros, all cons, but I didn't have time for that. So a con for me, which is not, it shouldn't be a con, but it's this. You see how this locks? Like this constantly will lock like if you're inactive for like five or 10 seconds. And it's like, it's annoying sometimes because it's just like I'll pick up the phone and I'll be like hey da, 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 and then it just locks and you can hear it it makes a click noise it's like click lock click unlock I know they do this because it's for child safety features which is very very important um, but if you know someone like me who doesn't have anyone else that is of child age in the house I would prefer to be able to cut that off right um, so if you have children great if not you know it is what it is now let's do a whole tour of the actual tread all right, so I wanted to go ahead and start recording like the space behind my treadmill because I had told you that before. This is the space behind my treadmill. This is looking more into it. So it's this nice, like, I don't even know the material um, <laughs> that's on here, but it has like, it's just very good material um, <laughs> on the tread. <laughs> I should know. Okay, so I'm going to give you like a slow-mo panning. All right, so here are the functions. So this is for the incline. You literally just do like that, and it's going to bring it up, and you do it like that. It's not, let me go ahead and enter in my passcode. You guys should not be knowing my passcode. But yeah, so all you have to do is just like that. I don't know if you can hear it. Did you hear the click? Let me see. And then it's going to start. Hold on, let me put it down here so you can see. Yeah. Okay, 
So that's how it goes up. It's very a soft touch. Let me go ahead and roll that back. And then it'll actually show you on the screen where your incline and where all that is. And, and all the lights are going to beep as well to let you know. Um, it's the same thing with the speed. You just go just like that. And then you can see it's starting right now. So yeah, it's very soft. I'm going to be quiet so you can hear. But yeah, to me, that's not loud at all. I definitely like that. So let me go ahead and turn it off. Um, here is the safety function right here. It's a key. It just snaps right back into it just like that. Anytime you need to stop, you literally just hit the stop button. Here are the cup holders. Um, let me put a cup in here so you can see what I'm talking about. This one doesn't fit. If you don't have this bottle, this is not sponsored. This is one of my favorite bottles. But I just want to tell you, it's the Mobot. It's actually, um, it's meant for rolling out your muscles as well. Um, but you put the water in it and it adds extra weight to it so that you're able to roll out your muscles if you don't bring your roller, your foam roller with you. So I love this. It doesn't fit, which... I mean, of course it wouldn't. I'm not expecting it to. It fits my Stanley. Yes, I have a Stanley. It fits my Yeti. I'm a Stanley and Yeti person. And then just like a regular water bottle, it would fit that as well. So no issues. Just in that amount of time, it's already been taken to the thing. I'm going to change my passcode. So here we go. Here is my workout profile. All right. So we're already here. The annual 2023 is here. You have so many challenges that you can join. Here are some of the different instructors that I have. And then my daily picks. I can't stand them because I know I like Kim Kardashian. Just, just don't judge me. Um, featured collections. These are some that you can do if you are very, you know, want to do some that are based on an artist. I do a lot of the scenic routes and they do update these. I wish they would update them more. Um, I love how it tells you when a session is about to start. So then I can go ahead and do those runs with some of these individuals and get prepared. Um, it then tells you which classes are most popular. And then if you want to add strength training or something else, you can literally roll out your mat, which I do, and then add this in additional to your class. So you'll finish your run and then add it. And then if you decide to draw, join a group like the, the Dirty 30s, which I'm going to be turning 30 this year, I can join this group. Um, and then we have the music recommendations, of course, you know, my like little Shanti and little Zara Larson, and then challenges. Let's go ahead. Um, and it tells me, you know, when my hashtag, when my group is working out. Then we go to, and these are some of the other ones, Buns of Anarchy, hilarious, Team Slackers. Love that. Um, I will join them. At, I'm in Team Slackers because I'd be slacking. Anyways. So we go to my actual profile just like this. I don't have that many friends. It's okay. That's my life. This is my new workout schedule. I've been being consistent so far. I didn't feel good those days. Um, but it'll go ahead and give me a full run through. And this is why I like and pay for the membership. It tells me my overall distance, output calories, workout time. It also tells me my body activity within the last 30 to 7 days. So I can see where I really got my most workouts in my body. Whether, you know, core, whatever it is. Um, and then goes and tells me my recent achievements that I've received. Um, you know, scenic route achievements, however many runs, you know. Um, let's see. Let's go back to my activity. So, yeah, then this will give me a whole graph. of, And like I said, if this isn't into you, I can get it just do the regular just running. But for me, I like to see this. I like to see overall how many calories I've burned, my stride score. I don't understand that one. Let's go back. Um, you know, just view my whole entire history of the runs that I've done. Um, and you can see just all of them. And then break down every specific one over the graphs and the overviews of my splits that I've done. Um, so this is important for me. This is what I like. Um, and then it goes to your music profile. So whenever they're playing a song, I connect mine to Spotify. You can connect it to something else. Um, I like to save the songs that I like that we're playing. Then we're going to go. That was all my personal profile. This is what home looks like. It tells me that I'm in a workout today for a three day streak of which I will. Um, and this class is about to come up. Then we go into programs. And then we can go into completed and then regular browse. So these are specific programs. This is zooming in. These are specific programs 
um, that you can do strength training, different type of splits. And then you can go through all classes and watch classes that have already happened, that are new to happening. And then this is how you can really break down. So you can do tread, running, boot camps, walking, strength, cardio, stretching, yoga, meditation, right? And then it's going to pull up all these different options and I can do them alongside with my tread. So that's what I really like this for. It's just for the main fact that it's not solely, you can see me. So that's why I like this as well, because it's not solely for just like, I'm going to be on my treadmill. You know, it is, there's a light above my head. It's also for the fact that you can still do meditation, do yoga, do all those other great workouts that you like to do with your tread as well. So that's what I'm saying. Like after you finish a run, it's going to ask you, hey, do you want to add on to this? And then that's when you can add it on or beforehand. You can go to a schedule, the actual schedule of what's going on. Like with this one, let's go ahead and join the class. 735 people are in it. Let's join the class. Okay, they're going to let me know it's got explicit language. Love it. Kidding. Yeah, and so this is what the class looks like. Because the process is yes. never Oh, I like the song. It's easy to love the hell out of yourself when you've yes. done so I can three see things the feed. every day for two weeks. My output. Of course it's easy to love yourself and be proud of yourself. My leaderboard. Can you love and be proud of yourself? And then it also when breaks down. When you did do those three things for a week. How much is remaining? Can I can hide that. you enough to say, okay, that's all right. I love you at this and stage. And she's getting that run on. Let's do this now. Let's pivot. Let's okay. go to 5%. And you can see how much is left. Yeah, so that class was great. It looked intense. With that being said, um, you can jump in and jump out. <laughs> they want to know why. Just because I was showing YouTube, that's it. Um, but yeah, you got so many other classes. And then you can also just save them and add them to your schedule. So like these are happening on Sunday. I can go ahead and add them. You can see that. These are happening on Sunday. I can go ahead and add them if I want to. Then we go into the challenges, any type of the annual 2023. I can join that one, 359 days left. And then it'll tell me all the people or all the things I can win, how many people have joined it um, and how it's tracking across. So that's fun. Um, I'll probably do a February running challenge as well. Um, then we go to more runs. So this is normally my screen. So this is what I was talking about. So if you don't pay for the membership, it's going to take you to a screen that looks like this. Now this is new, they upgraded this recently. And I normally do a custom goal time. So this one means you don't, you can just run whatever you want to run. This one is, and that's what'll happen if you don't pay for the membership, it'll take you to this screen and you just run. This is a custom goal time where I will set a goal of time, of how long I want to work out. And I normally do 30 minutes. Distance, how far I want to run before you let me know. Output, what I want my output to be. So then I will go into goal time and I'll do it for one minute. I'll do it for one minute so you guys can see. And then they'll say, hey, oh, sorry, I'm still in my workout. So I need to end it with her. Even though I'm not running this other. So then this will happen. You can connect your Bluetooth, your heart rate monitors and all that kind of stuff. So it'll show me on my screen like, hey, this is when your workout's going to end. The time that has elapsed. And then it'll show me all that stuff. Elevation as I raise it. These are the presets. You can change these. You can change them to be whatever number you want it to preset to, meaning I don't have to roll it. I can just press it and it's going to go all the way up to four. You can't see it. Maybe you can hear it. And so then it'll show me my distance, all that stuff. And then I'm just going to do a little walk. I'll walk with you guys. So yeah, I'm walking. This might be a little shaky. And then if I don't want to see this, if this is too daunting, I tap it in the middle. It goes away. That's too daunting. I normally don't like to look at numbers. And this is what I'll do. And I'll pull up my cell phone and then I'll just be texting, right? And then next thing I know, I'm walking on this incline and then my workout's over, right? So if I wanted to stop this, I could just stop. And then let's see. This is still going to keep this. And I got four. Let's see. Oh, then I'll say keep working out. And then voila, it says, hey, your workout is complete. Great job. It'll say all of this stuff. So duration, distance, elevation, all that kind of goodness. I can share it with people if I want to. I can go into my details. Um, yeah. Or I'll just go back. But yeah, no. It's super cool. And then these are the scenic runs. I love the scenic. You can do guided distance. You see, I loved his. Um, and then it's kind of, you know, you just go alongside with them. I love that you can fast forward. And then I just run. 
And so they're using a drone that follows them and runs with them. With your main so with this, Johnson, something you that you can, can do and today I'm gonna be taking is I can do more music. I'm gonna show you guys. So something you can do is more music, original, more or more instructor. So I love that you do that at the beginning because sometimes what if I don't want to hear you? What if I just want more music or more instructor? Um, and then you can also see who's in the class currently at this moment. So who's here now? Who's been here all time faves? But I love that feature because I'm like, oh, I'm not the only person working out. Um, so yeah, these are just some of the great features of having, you know, the membership is what I will say. Um, and then we'll go back to the home page. So I hope you guys like that tour. If you have any additional questions, please just let me know. Um, I'm free to answer them. I will be doing a follow-up video because I also have a Lululemon mirror. I'll tell you guys about that. But so far, uh, it's locked again. So far, I think that it's a very great machine. Once again, I probably would purchase it again just because working out is very big in my life if it wasn't or if it was a season that I just didn't really know once again I'd get something else and maybe something a little bit more affordable but I think it's worth it I'm gonna keep it let me know in the comments below what you guys think and thanks for tuning in